All right, so it seems like you guys really enjoy seeing me sharpen things. So in the past, we have done a regular butter knife. We've got this pretty sharp. And then in the last video, we sharpened a, or we made a wood knife and tried to sharpen it as sharp as we could get it. So this time we are going to switch it up and we are going to see how sharp we can make a plastic butter knife. I actually have uh, pretty high expectations for this. I think that we're probably gonna end up somewhere between the original butter knife and the wood knife since it's you know plastic and it has a little bit more dexterity to it. What we're gonna do is first, we're just gonna start with a standard sharpness test and get a, you know, get a baseline. And as we sharpen it different ways, we'll see how much uh, sharpness we're adding to it. A common butter knife is, takes 2,000 grams. I'm gonna assume that it's gonna be somewhere in that range. Ooh, <laughs> actually a little bit more. As you can see there, that's 2,200 grams, 2,200 grams. This plastic butter knife is actually a little bit uh, duller than a metal butter knife. So we clearly have our work cut out for us. The first thing that we're gonna use for an edge is I'm gonna break out the old work sharp that all of you have seen. I made a video review about this. This thing actually works great for regular blades. I'm sure it's gonna do great for plastic. It's basically just like a mini belt sander. So we're gonna use this to try to get our uh, initial edge. And then just with this, we'll see how sharp it makes it. This thing kind of wants to like bog down. I think we actually have a pretty decent edge on there just for using the work sharp. If you notice there towards the end, I kind of had to started like pulling it through really fast because I noticed that the friction from, cause I, like I said, this is basically just a little glorified uh, belt sander. So the frictions would start melting the plastic and then the plastic would just kind of like curl up on the edge and it wouldn't give it a chance to like actually form an edge. I am noticing now that I look up kind of closer, this side seems to be shaped down way more than this side. I guess the way this thing rotates, it kind of like wants to pull the knife down on this side and not so much on this side. We, uh, that might be something that we might have to uh, focus on later. Just from the work sharp, let's see how much sharpness we have gained. Now our original numbers were 2,200 grams. I would imagine we're down quite a bit from that. <laughs> oh, we're at two thousand grams. That's that's not at all what I expected. I expected to be somewhere around like a thousand because a thousand is pretty much right around the edge of where you have like a severely dull edge and that's kind of where I expected us to be. But instead, technically 2000 is a common butter knife. And so we were above that with 2200. So sharpening it over the work sharp, all we've done is bring ourselves down to the sharpness of a common butter knife. So I guess we have a lot longer way to go than what I thought. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna switch up to the uh, sharpening stone, which I'm gonna start with a 400 grit, and I did uh, soak this in water. I don't know if it's gonna make a huge difference for, for plastic, but uh, it was pre-soaked, so I guess I'm gonna see see what I can do. Maybe if I can, I don't know, make it sharper than a common butter knife. All right, it, it has been roughly like, I think about an hour and a half that I've been trying to sharpen this thing. I have severely underestimated how hard it would be to sharpen plastic since it would, since it had like more dexterity than wood and it wouldn't be as brittle that it would be easier to sharpen. But I guess where it's like flexible, it's not, it is not easy to sharpen at all. I've finally got this thing to a point where I think this is actually pr like really, really sharp. And I think this is like, 
when I, whenever I feel this edge, it feels razor sharp. And I, I think, I mean, I can pretty confidently say I think this is as about as, as sharp as you can possibly get this knife. Go ahead and break out the sharpness tester. We started off at 2200, and then after the work sharp, I think we were down to 2000. Kind of curious to see how where we're going to be at now. I'm going to try to do it more towards the front of the blade, just because I feel like this is the sharpest part of the blade. So, give ourselves the best chance possible. <laughs> you guys see that? Is this thing okay? Is this thing actually working? Does this thing need like new batteries or something maybe? 2,010 grams? More than what, what it took last time? There's, there's no way. I'm gonna redo this. That's not possible. I had to have, I had to have put that on just on like a dull part of the blade or something. There's just no way that's over 2,000 grams after all of that sharpening. Not possible. That's even worse. That one, that one's 2,210 grams. That's even more than it was to begin with. How do you sharpen something for like an hour and a half and make it more dull than it was to begin with? How does that work? Whenever I feel, whenever I feel the edge with my thumb, it literally feels like razor sharp. It feels like I'm touching a razor blade. It doesn't feel like it should be registering 2,210 grams. I feel like a little kid that just like, I just like, I feel like I just spent like, pulled an all nighter working on a school project and it was like, I killed it. I did everything I was supposed to. I worked as hard as possible. I turned in my project and then the teacher was like, there's an F, take it or leave it. That like, that's how I feel. This is like, this should not be happening. I should not, this thing should not be registering 2,210 grams. This thing should be 700, like in the range of 700 grams at the absolute most. This is, this is ridiculous. Something, something has to be like wrong here. Let's try something else. Let's, let's forget about the, the fancy scales and all that nonsense. Let's just do a test that like we can actually see a good paper slicing test. Maybe, maybe it's just, maybe that, maybe the angle wasn't right. Obviously this is a failure. I guess this is why they don't make uh, plastic knives sharp because it's like almost impossible. It's like the type of plastic that this knife is made out of and maybe there's like some other type of like disposable knife like this that's made out of some other type of plastic that I don't know of that would be way better for sharpening. As far as this one, this stuff sucks. I truly, whenever, before I started this, I truly believed deep in my heart that I could get this sharp enough that it could at least, that it could at least puncture a water bottle or cause some type of damage to it more so than the wood knife did. So obviously that is just like a, a dream that is way far out there that is never going to happen. So let's go ahead and just for the fun of it, even though we know nothing's going to happen, let's just try to cut this water bottle in half with the plastic knife. All right, <laughs> let's go. Well, I'm going to bed. This is uh, this has been a huge waste of time. There's a reason that they don't make uh, plastic knives that are sharp. Uh, don't try to sharpen a plastic knife. It's not worth it. I'll see you in the next one.